Why did you decide to go into like the oil and gas industry? Like what attracted you to that versus, you know, a lot of the other ones that are available? Yeah, I, I just thought it was a really interesting field. It's just like you take something so useless, you know, from the ground and you get to turn it into things that like actually can help people's lives and make a difference. And, you know, it's, it's really, there's so much cool chemistry and, um, things that happen in these refineries, you know, it goes through a distillation column, heat exchangers, pumps, like there's so many things that go on that it's like the most intricate puzzle you could ever like look at. And I think it's just really cool to kind of get to put those pieces together and figure out, you know, does this piece fit here? Or should we move it over there? So I think, I think there's just nothing like it out there. I think it's a really cool job and something that I look forward to going to every day. I went to a roughneck camp put on by the Society of Petroleum Engineers. It was at Exxon Mobil's campus, and it was just a day-long conference. And I was surrounded by 200 plus um, people my age, peers, or people who have just started in um, their careers, all in different forms, or all in different industries in oil and gas. So anywhere from downstream to midstream to upstream, um, through banks, lawyers, and it was, we had probably 12 keynote speakers that spoke throughout the day and spoke individually kind of to small groups. So hearing from those um, experts in the industry, as well as being surrounded by peers who are also interested in that field, I immediately knew that was for me. And so it was just like a click, like this was my people. I got excited. Um, the industry kind of became attractive to me where in the past it wasn't. Long story short, it was that day that I knew I wanted to do oil and gas. So I really wanted to be in a field that was constantly changing and evolving. Mm -hmm. So they're always trying to reduce pollution and there's all of these new technologies. And so I knew that I would show up to work every day and I would learn something new and it would never be boring. Um, mm -hmm. and I would always be challenged. So I right. think that's what really drew me to the industry. And also I think it's kind of cool that you can meet the world's energy needs while again, continuing, continuing to focus on, um, protecting the environment, um, reducing the environmental impact of the whole industry. I just found that very interesting. I used to not understand all the moving pieces that were incorporated with the oil and gas industry. Like many others, I did not realize the great impact that the oil and gas industry had in our society. I think there's a really great misunderstanding of what the oil and gas industry represents and what it brings us. I believe that most people don't know that oil and gas actually produces us so many products that we use each and every day from the transportation fuel that we have to even our material and our clothing, cleaning materials, and even some makeup. In fact, if you wanna learn about more products that the oil and gas industry produces, you can check out one of our videos, What We Owe to Oil and Gas, in our YouTube channel. But as far as what these women said, I agree with everything that they had to say. Oil and gas is a challenging workforce that will continuously push you to try something new and try something better to not only better yourself, but better the world. I really enjoyed what Christina said, where she's saying you're taking something literally useless from the ground and turning it into something that's going to flourish and really impact the world. So thanks for tuning in to the third part of the STEM Queen series as to why we chose oil and gas.